Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I have my youngest daughter, Azalea. Azalea, doing a video with me tonight um, because she wanted to do a video and talk about healthy breakfasts. So what are three things to look for when you're making a healthy breakfast? Healthy fat, protein, carb. Healthy fat, protein, and carb. Excellent. Now. We're gonna go through breakfast that I make a lot for me and my kids, and um, a lot of information is actually in my book, The Female Fat Solution, but this is one of the things that I work with women in my 12-week program, The Female Fat Solution, when, um, when we start really fueling the body and working with your metabolism, this is actually a really big secret that people don't realize makes a big difference in your day and how you can get your body to burn more fat and how you can get more energy in your, your um, kids, everything, how to keep everybody fed. It's really a fantastic thing to incorporate and it's really easy. All you have to do is focus on starting your day with a really, really healthy breakfast of a healthy fat, protein, and carb. That's it. So, Azalea, so my book is available on Amazon, um, The Female Fat Solution. I also have a podcast, The Female Health Solution, that you can subscribe to. And I will put a link below this video if you have any questions on, um, if you have questions on anything that I cover. If you're curious about the program that we're going to be starting, I have women that have amazing results. I have women that are, uh, you know, when they get started within the first week, they're like, oh my gosh, I've had more energy than I've had in forever, longer than I can remember. And now... Um, you know, their inches start, you know, coming down, they start shrinking and it's again, eating more food, right? You're not depriving yourself. So it's a really, really very different program than what most of the people are used to. So I'll put a link below and if you have questions, we can chat about that. But Azalea, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sorry, I was thinking about the song that never ends. Oh, let's not start singing the song <laughs> that doesn't end. It literally doesn't end. Oh, I know. I know. If any of you have watched my Instagram stories today, um, she uh, was singing that song. So check out that's my stories because you'll hear her sing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So what? This is the first breakfast we're going to talk about. All right. Which one is the the prot meal? We actually had this for breakfast this morning, right? Yes, but I was, but I prefer. We might be taking that cereal. Okay. So, yes, we you can also make this um, old school lamb chop. Yes, Melody, yes, the song that doesn't end. Yes, that's lamb chop. I was showing her, like, look, this is a show with just puppets, right? Like, oh, oh, they're going to play the song. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so, prot meal is the breakfast that I make all the time, at least once or twice a week. And she also really loves it with what's called Mighty Tasty Hot Cereal. It's a Bob's Red Mill, gluten-free, like cream of wheat type of cereal. Um, it's like cornmeal, basically. But again, it's gluten-free, but she really likes that um, kind of porridge, you know, texture. But we make it the same way. Instead of gluten-free oats, it's the gluten-free Mighty Tasty Hot Cereal. So what are the ingredients in the prot meal? Gluten-free oats, strawberry, protein, coconut oil. Yes, the gluten-free oats, strawberry, protein. Now, you guys like the strawberry. Sometimes I use vanilla. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I use vanilla. And then the coconut oil, I do a scoop of coconut oil. And, you know, you can put a little vanilla or a little cinnamon in there, too, just to flavor it differently, right? Make it taste really yummy. And, and, you, and do you like this? Did you like what you had for breakfast today? Yes. But I really like the Mighty Tasty Hot Cereal. Yes, I know you really like the Mighty Tasty Hot Cereal. We are out of Mighty Tasty Hot Cereal, uh, unfortunately. I am so sorry. I will get some at the store for you. Yay. Yay. Okay. But this is a very favorite breakfast. I use, um, you can use quick oats as well. Bob's Red Mill also makes gluten-free quick oats, which are, um, you know, I just use hot water in it, mix it up. It's like seconds. It's ready, right? We're talking breakfast. It's got to be ready really fast, and uh, I have to be ready to get them the food in their faces and out the door as quick as possible. So there is that. Um, okay, yes, I use straight protein, right? I use um, straight protein powder. Uh, for the kids, oftentimes you're looking at getting, right, the oats are going to be the carb, the strawberry protein is going to be the protein piece, coconut oil is going to be that healthy fat. For kids, I mean, depending um, on, like, how big your kids are, again, she's eight, 
So I get her about 10, 12 grams of protein at least in the, in the morning. Um, you know, that's going to keep her full a lot longer. I get at least 35 <laughs> or 40 grams of protein with my first meal. Very different, right? Um, but at least getting that much protein is going to get her uh, metabolism, you know, leveled out, insulin levels, you know, leveled out, blood sugars are going to be more stable. And then, um, you know, the, the coconut oil helps with that too and just helps keep them burning more efficiently, which is going to help them focus, not get as tired, not wear out during the day, that type of thing. Um, yeah, Bob's has a Mighty Tasty Hot cereal. Clearly her favorite. She will talk about it all the time. Um, so that one's, that one's a big one that we do at least once or twice a week. Um, yes, we go through a lot of this. The only thing I will say is that if you, you are using a high quality protein, oftentimes this does not work for a overnight oat. Meaning if your protein gets wet and it starts activating and it starts breaking down, you don't want to use one of those proteins. Like you can still soak the oats overnight, but I use quick oats, right? And my kids like having a hot breakfast. Are you going through the song again in your head? Yes. <sighs> okay, I'll tell you what. At the very end of the video, I, you can sing it, okay? Yay! Yay. Okay, what is the next one? What's the next breakfast that we do quite often? Protein pancakes. Protein pancakes! Protein egg bacon. With just protein egg and, well, a banana. I thought it said bacon. Well, maybe you just like bacon. I love bacon! <laughs> well, I'm sure you could make it with bacon. I don't know. Um, th again, there's a ton of recipes out there. You can add like nut butter to this or sometimes I use a little bit of um, like paleo or gluten-free flour with it just to thicken it up a little bit. Um, but a very basic recipe here for protein pancakes. Again, you're getting protein, fat, carb in this breakfast. So you're getting them something quick and out the door. Now, time-wise, like this takes literally, I can prep three prop meals and have them ready to go in less than five minutes. This takes me, you know, 20 minutes to make enough protein or protein pancakes for all the kids for breakfast. So sometimes it depends on how much time I have in the morning. But we do this at least once a week as well. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. now, and we barely do the protein balls with sprinkles. Well, right. Well, Azalea's favorite way of having protein balls is with Sprinkles! Sprinkles. She likes it, and so occasionally I'll let her put some sprinkles on protein balls, which we haven't done in a while. I know, we just haven't done that in a while. I know, it's so, so strange. But my favorite way to do protein balls is just using... Protein, nut butter, uh -huh. honey. And honey. But yet, no sprinkles! But there's, I didn't put sprinkles on the list. I didn't. No, that I didn't feel was essential for the rest, base recipe. Um, so I can post my favorite recipe below. I, my favorite is, um, it's cho I use, you can use almond butter or peanut butter or sun butter or whatever. It doesn't matter. Use a little bit of honey and then heat that up. Um, and then I add chocolate protein and then I actually like to add, um, dried cherries to it. Oh my gosh. So good. And you can also put like a, you know, I like to use a dairy free chocolate chunk too. Maybe put that on top. Pretty good. Those using for snacks in the morning, if you're on the go, um, love the protein balls. Yes, right? The only issue I have with them actually is making them enough to last. They go pretty quick when I make them. So there's that. Um, but they really are my favorite thing to have around because everybody loves to have them. They're quick, easy on the go and they're filling and they're going to help you with your morning energy, with your metabolism to get you into that fat burning all day long. Um, and, and it's, it's really great. Yeah. So again, sometimes running out the door, if you're like, uh, you gotta go like <laughs> bus is coming. Bus is coming now, people. <laughs> Where is the bus? The bus isn't coming yet for you, but yay, no school. <laughs> But when it does, sometimes we have to hustle out the door very quickly. <laughs> so getting some good nutrient in very fast is essential. So these are some of our three favorite things, right? Which one is your favorite, sweetheart? Protein balls with sprinkles. The protein balls with sprinkles. And pancakes. And the pancakes. And my tasty hot cereal. And the mighty tasty hot cereal. You do love that too. Yes, so we are a gluten-free family. Um, so everything that we make is gluten-free and it tastes good. It has a good texture. So if you guys have questions too on like the brands of um, items that I use because my kids have grown up with this stuff and they um, 
they they use it they tolerate really well I know sometimes for people to try and switch and be gluten free or cut out some of the grain or something like that the texture can be a little different um, but if so if you're curious I'm more than happy to share you know my tips and tricks on brands of uh, gluten free items that are really really delicious and can help keep you on track all right so that's what I got for you guys today what you started to sing the song. Okay, start. This is the song that. Da, this is the song, song that, that doesn't end. end. Yes, yes, it, it goes, goes on, on and, and on, on, my friend. friend. <laughs> yes. Some people. Yes. Started saying it, not knowing what it was, and we'll continue saying it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. <gasps>